Good morning, this is the Naples Money Manager's News You Can Use. I'm Marcus Bickle, joined by John Kincaid. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the market, some of our recent movements, and maybe some of the, the news of the day. Um, I guess I'll start. <laughs> we, um, so as we talked about last week, we're, we're, we're continuing the trend of being pretty bullish on the market. Um, we made a couple of um, interesting moves last week, I would say. We bought um, Constellation Brands, um, which is a good consumer discretionary stock. Uh, alcohol, you know, <laughs> who uh, alcohol always does well. Um, it, it has since pulled back a little bit, but you know, we're still pretty hopeful of that. We also ended up swapping uh, AMD for NVIDIA, um, you know, in light of the, the recent chip um, bill that's going through Congress. Actually, I think it's gonna be signed this morning. Um, again, that pulled back a little bit. The market's been a little soft this week so far, but um, again, we're still we're still pretty hopeful. We're still deploying cash where we we think it's going to be useful, um, even even in light of potentially rising rates or a hawkish Fed. Um, well, it's interesting uh, the material that I brought when you talked about Constellation Brands. It is a consumer discretion, right? Sure. Compared to a consumer staple. Yeah, things you need. Things you gotta have. <laughs> And uh, so two things. First of all, I went back to 94 and 1995 when the Fed raised rates seven times in that 12 month period. Oh. Now I was at Merrill Lynch during those times. I had clients, I was early in my career. And the one thing that I noticed was the market kept climbing 94, 95, 96 until the, the dot-com debacle. But right. My point is, is that raising rates doesn't mean markets slow down all the time. In fact, usually it improves the inflation, which then trickles through to, to the economy. The other thing, when you, mentioned really Const when you mentioned Constellation Brands, I went back to 1957 and said, when, when, the, when we have the defined recession, two quarters theoretically mm -hmm. of negative growth or negative GDP. Which we are technically in, right? So we are, we've met that definition. Which sector of these 11 sectors in the Standard & Poor's 500, energy, real estate, utilities, hmm. staples, consumer discretionary, which performs the best after that? Okay. And it was consumer discretion. Really? It, in, in every, it outperformed the S&P for six months after the two quarters of negative GDP. So then I went back and looked at uh, the XLY, which is the, the ETF, the Exchange Traded Fund for Consumer Discretion. Which we hold occasionally as yeah, well. Yeah, we use in, in, in our life. Mm -hmm. June 3rd, or January 3rd of this year, it peaked, basically coming out of that the pandemic and then dropped to a low June 16th, oh. down 35%. And we're back now down 18%. Wow. So you can see that, I don't know if this is gonna ring true again about this consumer discretion sector outperforming the S&P, but it has a lot of history doing that. So now my question, be, now my question is, what happens after the consumer feels a little bit better I mean, gas prices we've seen. Absolutely, they're down 84 cents in some cases. Yeah, so tomorrow the consumer price index comes out at 8.30 for July, so I'm interested to see what that number yeah, is. Yeah, we're, we're, I think, here pretty hopeful that it's gonna be a solid number. It's gonna have all of the, the decline in the gas prices priced into it, um, as well as a, a little bit of food moved a little bit. Um, like I've talked about a couple times, uh, Ukraine is starting to open back up so far as their food shipments. I think um, a couple of their grain ships have now left the port there in Odessa, despite the continuing hostilities there. So there, there is some good news on the horizon. Um, hopefully the, 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 the inflation, it comes in good tomorrow. Hopefully. But you know, to John's point, that shows you that regardless of the kind of economic environment we in, that the American public continues to spend, that we are consumers at heart and that, you know, even if it's not a staple, well, we want our discretionary stuff too. We want our, you know, our, our, our wine and our cheese and our alcohol. And, you know, bookings, holdings, the, the, the largest tra online travel agency basically mm -hmm. uh, leads part of that too, along with Amazon. Oh, you that's, know, that's a good through point. Through that too. trough. So you're, 
you're starting to see a company that, that slowed way down. So hopefully that will get us going again. And Amazon has been doing well recently. So I think that, that continues to, uh, to play into what we're seeing. Well, that is, uh, that's all we have for today. Um, remember, this is news you can use. And money matters, but most importantly, you matter. We hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you.